chartered institute of backers of nigeria cibn held their 23 edition of investiture of fellowship on its members it is the highest level of membership that the institute can give to its members it's given to those that have climbed the ladder of membership or on those that have performed exceptionally in their different industries the investiture ceremony was a bit of activities because families and friends of those that were given the fellowship award gathered together to celebrate with the Institute of Bacans of Nigeria. It was a busy day for members of the institute and the entire backing industry. After the ceremony, President and Chairman of Council of the Chartered Institute of Bacans of Nigeria, Ken Ogbara, PhD, FCIB, other awardees, and some guests spoke with SEM Television on certain issues that affects the economy. Well, it, it is very clear that it is a recognition of microfinance um, before it's actually my own personal recognition. Because several years ago, about 30 years ago, we believed that you could take banking from the glass house and take banking to the streets. That we have successfully done. I think it's more for that reason that this award has uh, come to me. But it's also important to know that award could be a recognition of an accomplishment, but it is also more of you know, a motivation to do more. I, I, I strongly believe that empowering the people at the bottom end of the society, there is still so much to be done. And I hope that I will continue to commit myself to that. An accomplished professional, a committed stakeholder of the institute, a philanthropist, a role model to young aspiring professionals. Barista Alan Oyema for the award of the Honorary Committee of the Chapter of the City of Bangladesh. Thank you. The choice of today's team which is harnessing our economic potentials, I think it's very apt, uh, given the fact that we need to brainstorm on how to harness our economic potentials in order to help the government uh, achieve its agenda of uh, renewed hope. Uh, at any opportunity, we at NDIC, we want to call on depositors on the close microfinance banks and primary mortgage banks whose licenses were revoked in May this year to come to NDIC so that we can get them so that we can pay them the insured amount. We have already paid those with alternate bank accounts that they had BVN with the banks. But those without BVN, there was no way we could determine the alternate account. So I want to seize this opportunity to call on those depositors to come to NDIC, either in Lagos or in any of our zonal offices, so that they can get verified, so that we can pay them the insured amount. And subsequently, we are going to announce when we are going to pay liquidation dividend. Uh, about three weeks ago, we have also advertised that we want to pay liquidation dividend to depositors and for some banks, even creditors, of about 20 banks that have been in liquidation. And the total amount that we hope to pay these beneficiaries is about 1.6 billion. Thank you. I, Ken Toba, President and Chairman of Council, do hereby confer on you the honorary fellowship of the Charter City of Workers of Nigeria with all rights, privileges, and obligations. A very big congratulations. Congratulations! Hello! This is a shout out to Sam Television. I've seen your work. You are doing well. You are the best. And the sky is your stepping stone. So keep up the good work. Cheers! The Chartered Institute of Backers of Nigeria, CIBN, is one of the prominent institutes in Nigeria. To get more of their events on our channel, follow us on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter.
don't forget to like and follow for more programs on our channel hi everyone this is your girl nelly i am on same television catch you guys later don't touch that dial this is the best station ever